fantastic surprise. Look at that. You never know what's around the next corner. Very cozy family scene here. Mum suckling the two pups. And these guys are probably coming up to about eight months old now, eight, nine months even. Means they've still got another at least three months, but even five, six months of suckling from the mother coming. They suckle very long compared to some of your other cats that only really rely on milk the first few months, three to six months or so that they're dependent on it. Hyenas, much, much longer. One of the reasons probably is that the females have got incredibly rich milk. Again, with all the calcium they're eating, they're eating a lot of bone fragments and lots of marrow and so on as well, but the bones especially gives them incredibly rich, nutritious milk. Which means the young hyenas can survive on that for much longer, even when they get bigger. <laughs> Happy hyenas. Watched them a few times before like this where they almost suckle themselves to sleep. You can eventually see them almost like a reflex or instinctive behavior where they're still sucking on the mammary gland or the teat see essentially they're asleep. And by they I refer to all three of them, even the mother seems to be asleep. Well, she's giving us a look there again. She must have heard me, she's like, I'm not asleep. I'm always aware of my surroundings and looking after my youngsters. Else I spotted it seems there's a lot of other interesting small things going on around the Aina den. Just have a look on the Tambuti tree above them there. Yeah. You follow the trunk maybe from the base up. The tree that gives them some nice shade, but obviously other things living around here as well. Let's wait for Jan to get in close to that. And we'll reveal to you what it is. See if you can spot it. See on my monitor already where it is, and uh, there you go. It's a monitor lizard or a ligavan. See the big nails there? That's partly why they're so good at climbing trees. They also use those nails to dig out food, get to little grubs and insects and all kinds of things, dig out other reptiles, eggs, one of the main things that eat. Crocodile eggs as well, especially the Nile monitor. The species we're looking at here is a rock monitor though. They live more in the bush. Whereas the Nile monitor or the water monitor live close to water. Not a very large one this. It's always difficult to judge the scale of this animal. Obviously because we don't have something to compare it to. But this one would probably be nose to tail about two feet long. Maybe slightly longer, two and a half feet, so about 60, 70 centimeters. It can get quite a bit longer than that, more than twice that length for big ones. At the same time, though, even a monitor lizard this side will give you, or this size will give you a mean bite if you try to catch it. The, the ridges, or their teeth, if you want, carry a lot of bacteria, so not a very good bite to get. There's no venom in it but it can, once it gets into your bloodstream, have a bit of a poisonous effect. Also very good at whipping you with their tails. Catching them is a lot of fun. It really gets the heart racing. Okay, with the rock monitor happy as well up there. It's got a perfect branch. It just has to avoid the zahinas. But otherwise it's a safe place to be. Not many other things are going to come harass it here. Even eagles 
Marshall eagles, for instance, one of the main predators. Shouldn't bother it too much around the den here. And these ahinas pretty much in the same spot, same spot, same position, doing the same thing. Fluctuating between being awake and asleep. Two happy pups suckling from the mum. I'm going to move along. I'm sure we'll come past here again, direction of myself in the next day or two, maybe get them when they're a bit more active. Ah, a very cool visit to the day.